We're looking at the PNY Accelerate Performance Edition GeForce 9800GX2. This should be the review. That should be it. It's the uh, new standard right here. The new single card, fastest record breaking. You you name it, it does all kinds of things. And I want to clarify some things. I've been looking around online. There's been a lot of uh, reviews, uh, I guess, lately. A lot, a lot of leaks, specs, and that sort of thing. I read some of the reviews. Some of them are like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And then I saw some mixed reviews. And uh, I've got one thing to say to a lot of the mixed reviews. It's still the fastest card out there on the market right now. And the only reason that there are any mixed reviews is because those people probably didn't have the newest drivers. So, you know what? I'm calling all you guys out there who had old drivers, and, or maybe drivers that were from like a beta or something like that. Maybe you got a pre-something sample. Rethink your decision. Yeah, it's driver's ed. That's right. That's what I am around here. I'm, they call me driver's ed. I'm not ed though. That's some other guy. All right, the specs on this card. Uh, now it's got two GPUs, two of the, uh, it's kind of like two of the 800 GTs, but there's two of them on here. Each one has a 256-bit uh, memory interface, and they both have 512 megabytes of memory, making uh, 1024 in total. That's what it says right here, 24. That's right, zoom in on that, just because we want to uh, zoom in on look at things. It's a pretty card, too. And, uh, you know, there's a patent pending on this heatsink. Take a look at this heatsink. It's large, it covers two slots in your computer. It's about 11 inches from uh, one end to the other. Well, about 10 and a half to 11 inches. So make sure you have at least 11 inches so it's not too snug in your computer. It requires a lot of power too, and uh, it's fast. Now, like the core clock on this thing is 600 on each core. Um, also the uh, shader clock is 1500 megahertz, and the uh, memory runs at uh, 2000 megahertz. That's a, that's a DDR. It's fast. I'm trying to keep saying fast. All right, how fast? You know, I've got some benchmarks here. Let's get to them. Let's talk about how fast it is. All right, now, um, you know, I, I gotta be honest with you guys. These benchmarks are from the uh, the stock version, but it's identical in specs to the stock version, so I just wanted to clarify that. I, I did the uh, stock 9800 GX2 versus the, um, versus the 3870 X2. That's the uh, fastest card that AMD ATI makes right now. It was really fast, faster than the Ultra in a few of the benchmarks. Well, let's see how it fares. Half-Life 2, Episode 2, 19, 20 by 1200, everything turned up to max. And here they go, they're off the 3870X2, it was at 208 frames a second. But around the corner comes the 9800 GX2 at 227 frames per second. <clears throat> that was really annoying. Uh, now, Unreal Tournament 3, 19, 20 by 1200, uh, and this one's running with everything maxed out, just like uh, Half-Life was. 3870X2 at 97 frames per second, and uh, this one at 130 frames per second. So, beating it, just beating it. And in Crisis in Vista, uh, running at 1920 by 1200, uh, everything on medium. This card was at uh, 40, what's that, 46, and then the 3870X2 is at 44. So it's a little closer right there. I think as the new drivers come out, it's gonna get even faster and faster. This thing's uh, got a lot of weight to it. Yeah. How much is the bludgeon? Why would you wanna do that? Why would you wanna do that? Why didn't you come stop me? That's right, if you can't beat them in the game, like Eric said, beat them with the card. It's substantial in every way. All right, as far as power is concerned, we need 580 watts. So make sure you got 580 watts. Um, now, as far as that goes, I usually recommend more than that. You do need an eight pin PCI Express connector. A lot of the power supplies don't have that. Uh, and some of the new ones do. You can get adapters. This one does not include one in the box. Uh, we have the 6-pin and the 8-pin, uh, so that's nice there. And then on the other side, let's turn it around. HDMI! That's awesome. 1080p through that, so that's full high definition with the HDMI there. And we also have uh, two of the DVI ports, and those will do 2560 by 1600 through each, so you can run dual monitors, and uh, you can get that high definition output right there. So this thing is really handled, uh, can really handle uh, HD video. Now, as far as SLI connections go, Let's show you where that goes. Right underneath here, there's a little clip. Oh, there, I didn't drop it. I always drop it. There's where the SLI connector is. I'm not gonna talk about what happens when you put two of these cards in your system. But if you do, send me a picture. And I will put it online. And we'll make you a champion, my friend. I will make you a champion in front of all, in front of all men. People will make idols to you. So pick up two of these, put them in your system. Make sure you got some cooling. 
Actually, the cooling unit on this is uh, gonna keep things nice and cool. But uh, yeah, if you explode, I don't have anything to do with it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know you. All right, if you guys have questions, click Q&A at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. For more information on the PNY 9800GX2, go to CompUSA and type P56-9800 into the search box. A call is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA. Oh.